Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Cook and Cassius, and some very special guests, Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher, and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn, you get up, you dress up, and you fucking show up. This is Joe Poo for IFL TV. We're here in Birmingham. Ten years ago, you said up there, since your last fall. Good to be home, little homecoming for you. Yeah, it's nice to be at home. It's home comforts. Um, it's nice to be not sat in a hotel all week. I've been going back and forth home, so uh, it's not too bad. Um, hopefully I can just cap it off with a nice performance on Saturday. Yeah, obviously, I think it's not even been a year, just over a year since you turned pro, and you're now headlining your first event. How does that feel, to come so far since Tokyo? Yeah, it's good, you know. I, I, I take every fight as a come, and I try not to look too, too into the future. Um, but, yeah... I try and take the importance out of things, you know, fighting the Olympic final, it's, I try and take it as just another fight, and the same way I do for this fight, take it as another fight, and just do what i got to do. You said up there, enough of those South Americans, you got a Brit this time, Tommy Frank, he's known on the domestic scene, he's been in there with the likes of Matt Windle, Jay Harris, why him, and do you think he'll bring a test on Saturday night? Um, I don't know why him, I didn't pick him. <laughs> um, what, do I think it'd be a test? Uh, what do you think? Do you think it be a test? I'm asking you. I can't. I'm impartial here. Okay. Oh. okay. Um, hopefully he's not a test, but he, he could be, couldn't be. It depends, depends how I perform. Um, but I know he's coming for it. It's his only opportunity. Um, but yeah, I just do what I normally do and hopefully it's enough. I just spoke to him and he says he feels that you're overlooking him. There's obviously talk of world titles and he's going to be that banana skin you're going to slip on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I expect him to say them things. Mm. I don't expect him to say um, that he's just going to get beat off. But yeah, we'll see Saturday, won't we? He's, talking's not for me. I, that's the good thing about boxing. Mm. It, it, it's not like football where I could go and play football and see who wins and scores more goals. It's I get to batter him on Saturday, so see, it's not. There you go. But from your personal perspective, I know you've probably spoken to Frank and uh, Eddie about where your career is going. Surely get this win on Saturday night, not overlooking Tommy, um, and then it is going to be pushing on for world titles. Yeah, that's a plan. You know what I mean? I don't overlook no one, um, but I look through him. I'll go through him Saturday. Um, I don't overlook him. Um, I know he's a credible opponent. but it's only how credible how I make him. Yeah. If it's an easy fight, then people say he weren't, he weren't credible. And if I make it a hard fight, then people will say I'm shit and I'm not that good. Um, so hopefully it's the first one and I'll just smash him and then go on. It's hard to find those levels to bridge the kind of contenders to world level uh, at your weight division. A name that Eddie mentioned to me was Rung Vizai. Yeah. Is that a fight that you'd be interested in? Yeah, I don't really... Names, I'm... Mm. Names I'm not really asked about. Um, I ain't got to fight no one for their name. I, got, I want to fight people for, for me to make, get experience and me to win a world title. Everything else I don't really give a shit about. The name I don't really care. They're all, we're all little flyweights anyway, so it's not like I'm fighting any Joshua, right, who's a massive name. We're all pretty small names anyway, so <laughs> I'll just fight whoever. Obviously, on Team GB, moving around the world that's been a continuous theme in your pro career so far uh, I think over in the States Abu Dhabi here London Birmingham do you enjoy that moving around and ultimately for those world type fights you, you might have to be an away fighter yeah most, more, more than likely um, but yeah I don't mind I'm always used to going away you know New York and Abu Dhabis and I, I don't mind going away I, I, I actually like going away sometimes um, but it's nice to be fighting in Birmingham obviously it's my home city get my people out here, my family, friends. Um, so, yeah, it'd be nice to, to put on a good performance Saturday. Just two more. Do you want to be that flag bearer of Brummy boxing? Bring it back. It's been the first time Matchroom have come here for five years. It'd be good to kind of have that home fighter and build a nice stable of Brummy fighters around yourself. Yeah, hopefully. You know, my brother started it. Um, you know, he's Birmingham's first world champion and... Hopefully I can continue it, but um, there's plenty of good fighters. Um, I don't want to be saying I'm the flag bearer and stuff. Um, but obviously I'm Olympic champion, so I expect that little bit of pressure. Um, but maybe if I, was, if I was a heavyweight, it'd be a lot easier, but it's, it's hard when you're flying. <laughs> I 
I think there's, there's a height restriction and you got to be five foot ten over to, to sell out uh, these kind of places. But um, now nah, I do my best. Uh, keep winning. Keep looking good. Um, it's the main thing. Last one. I know you don't like doing the talking. You do your talking in the ring. But what can people expect when they come out and see you either in the arena or on the zone on Saturday night? You know what, everyone knows what I come with. I'm a serious fighter. I come to fight. Uh, I'm like looking to play around and just, you know, try and get through the fight. I look to, I look to come to do some damage Saturday. <laughs> Doing some damage, perfect. Galau, thank you very much for being to IFL TV and best of luck on Saturday night. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much. Join us for the very first IFL Live at London's Indigo at the O2, Sunday, August the 13th, with me, Coogan Cassius, and some very special guests. Eddie Hearn, Darren Barker, Johnny Fisher and more. Tickets now on sale. So in the words of Eddie Hearn... You get up, you dress up and you fucking show up.